all, welcome to another episode of Mystery Science. Today we're going to have a look at this, the horrible science, violent volcano. Alright, so with today we're having a look at the GALT Horrible Science Violent Volcano Kit. It's a blast! In the kit we have a plastic volcano model uh, to make it look nice and realistic. You've got some mini card stand-up villagers and houses uh, for destruction. You've got a little mini scoop. You've got some bicarbonate of soda and some tartaric acid. You've got goggles and it comes with a little eight page leaflet to tell you all about it. Uh, what you need in addition to this is a tray, a measuring jug, some washing up liquid, some vinegar, some soil twigs and stones for the effects and an adult assistant. For me, I'm the adult assistant, but the person going to be doing the experiment is... Angus! Angus will be doing the experiment. Me. Hooray, right. So we're now going to grab the tray, the measuring jug, some washing up liquid, some vinegar, and then all the bits and pieces that we need. Okay, just have a quick read of the warnings here. It says, not suitable for children under eight. Uh-oh, how old are you, Angus? Seven. Oh, well. For use under adult supervision, that's me contains some chemicals which present a hazard to health. Read the instructions before use, follow them and keep them for reference. Do not allow chemicals to come into contact with any part of the body, particularly the mouth and eyes. So this is really important, or uh, well, it tells you what's in the kit as well, but it's really important to have a look at the warnings, especially when you're doing any of these kind of little chemistry kits. Um, when it says not suitable for children under eight, with the proper adult supervision, you should be okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here I wouldn't want Angus to be particularly uh, mindful of. But we will make sure that nothing goes in the eyes, hence the goggles, and nothing goes in the mouth. Okay? Don't eat the experiment, Angus. I won't. Okay, carry on. I'm not going to eat them. Okay, so while Angus is having a quick look at the instructions, let's have a quick look at the chemicals you get. Uh, so this is bicarbonate of soda, this is an alkali, or rather it's a base, uh, when it's soluble, uh, it dissolves in water, it becomes an alkali, and this is an acid. Uh, for those of you that don't know or aren't aware, uh, when you mix an acid uh, with a base, you end up with a soluble salt and water. Uh, because this is a carbonate, uh, you're going to end up with a gas as well and we're going to end up with carbon dioxide and we'll see what effect that has in just a moment. So let's set up the experiment and see what's what. Alright, so uh, in the instructions you get a whole bunch of stuff, some uh, history of volcanoes, some um, fun facts about volcanoes, some safety instructions for volcanoes, some do's and don'ts. And that's pretty cool and then on the other side you've got the instructions itself uh, obviously all the supervising adults should read through the instructions thoroughly first uh, you need to know the ability of your child um, if uh, your child um, needs extra help then you know them better than the people in the instructions if they are okay then still supervise them anyway uh, safety rules here Things like do not use any equipment that has not been surprised uh, with the starter set uh, or recommended with instructions. Do not eat or drink in the experimental area, that's very important. That's what we do at school in the science lab. No one eats or drinks. Uh, do not allow chemicals to contact with the eyes or mouth. Don't inhale the dust or powder or apply it to the body. Do not replace foodstuffs in original container. So if you're using vinegar, like we are, don't stick it back in the container when you're done with it. It's uh, no good anymore. Okay, a little warning here that this is going to get messy. Don't do this on your mum's best uh, tablecloth. Uh, she will be unhappy. So what you do is probably do what like we've done and go outside. Uh, all right, so step one, three scoops of tartaric acid, please, Angus. Okay. okay. Scoop and the hole for the volcano is roughly the same size. So that's three scoops in there. If you want to put your volcano back 
where it's supposed to be. Then we want 130 millilitres of warm water, which I've got together. Sweet. Hold on. And then a couple of drops of uh, washing, washing up liquid. liquids. Uh, you can use any washing up liquid, obviously. So there's a few drops in there. Now what that does is if we just swirl it around a little bit, the washing up liquid is going to capture any bubbles of gas. So if you can pour that into your volcano, Angus. Okay. So in here now we have tartaric acids Hello. It's on me. and some soapy water. It's okay. Science is messy. Uh, the next bit is a little bit more tricky, so I'm going to do this bit. I'm going to take the bicarbonate soda, and it's got one of these annoying caps on the top. So that comes off, so that's fine. Bicarbonate soda. Now, as you can see, this has already got some of the tartaric acid on it. Leave it there, Angus, because we're not going to have time. Once we get this in there, it's going to be quick. Try and get as much of the acid off. Uh, there as possible. Now you might be surprised to see that the acid is a solid um, but acids come in all forms just like everything else. So let's take a scoop of bicarb. Okay so this is the alkali. You only need one scoop. Need one oh scoop of this and then that's going in there. Put this on here. Well, what about the... Oh! Ah. oh. Hey. <laughs> Wowee! That is so cool! Well, I was not expecting a reaction like that. That was cool. So I was expecting a reaction but not one that powerful. And the reason it was that powerful is actually on the top of this, I'll show you this when we've cleaned it down, but on top of that uh, volcano there, there is a very small hole. Um, what's going on is the bicarbonate of soda and the tartaric acid are reacting together to create some salt and water. But also because we're using a carbonate, we're getting carbon dioxide. We've got uh, washing up liquid in the water that's trapped the carbon dioxide into those bubbles and all of that pressure built up and shot out of the uh, volcano. Uh, hopefully we can get that done again and I can do that in a wider shot just so you can see how high that went because that went pretty high. Uh, I was expecting it all to go onto this tray uh, but as you can see it went all the way over there. This is why you don't do it on your mum's best tablecloth. Right, that's part one of the experiment. We are now going to replace the water with vinegar and see what happens there. Okay, we are ha now going to use 50 milliliters of vinegar this time. But first, I have to put the acid in to the volcano. I'm not getting much in it. And one more. There we go. Oh, yeah. Those look like little half scoops and you dropped a bit. I'm going to put another scoop in. Yeah, I'm just going to do one more half scoop. Okay. Because the last one was a half scoop. Okay. okay. We are now putting the 50 millilitres of vinegar. <clears throat> okay, so we are currently combining two acids. We've got the tartaric acid, which is the solid and the vinegar, which is now creating a much more acidic environment. Oh my god, that looks really cool inside it. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. I could see my eye. <laughs> just gonna show you very quickly, the reason it's shot up is because you have this very, very, oh, I've lost the lens, where's the lens gone, there it is. You have this very, very tiny hole, this aperture on the volcano part at the top. Mm, it smells nice. The volcano part on the top, and that allows it to shoot out. So that shot quite a long distance on one side. So let's see, there is actually a risk that we are gonna get splattered 
uh, with some sort of horrible vinegar. Drop in a couple of drops, otherwise, there you go. Put my carbonate on the so, soda. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in. You have to be very quick. Why? Yes. Right, just wait for me, wait. Because as okay, soon as you put it in, I'm gonna put the top on. Okay? Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's get that on there. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? The action isn't going as fast. Hmm. What, what's happening? Oh, I can see it. What's happening? Don't never, ever, ever put your head over an experiment, then. Sorry. What is happening? Maybe I didn't choose. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Oh, sorry. Oh my! Oh, that was so cool. That was cool. There you go. Let's still go. Obviously, that smells significantly worse. It smells nice. Uh, the reason that why do you think that was slower, Angus? I can think of two reasons. Why do you think that might have been slower? Because I didn't shake it enough. Um, okay, that's that possibly is one. But what else was different, do you think? Um, that it wasn't... Because it wasn't actually... It wasn't the, wa the warm water. It was different. That's right. It was vinegar. It was vinegar. So that changes the acidity of the, um, of the solution. But what also where we had was the warm water was warm which means it had a higher temperature which means that the reaction would have been quicker also we put more water in than we did the vinegar so what we're going to do now is we are going to wash it all out we're going to do the experiment one more time uh, and i'm going to try and get a wider shot uh, and we will see if we can capture how high that went so one of the main hazards uh, when dealing with these acids, both vinegar and the tartaric acid, is if you have any kind of cut uh, or uh, damaged nail or on your cuticle uh, and you get any of the acid in it, it really stings. My fingers right now, really stinging. But it's because I've got the vinegar in it, uh, the tartaric acid. It's not so much of a problem, it's a solid, I can see it. The problem with the acid as a liquid is it tends to just flow all over the place and you get it on your hands you've got a small cut it really hurts you really know about it and that's one of the hazards that we have in school chemistry is just small cuts uh, and stings otherwise this stuff is pretty safe to do so I'm gonna try it again uh, and we're gonna see if we can get a shot of it being really high I hope that the camera can actually pick it up so we've got our tiny volcano and a lovely messy tray which I have to wash up in a minute. Fantastic. Right, we've got our warm water. And we're gonna put in a couple of drops of the washing up liquids. The scoop, the size of the scoop, and the size of the hole. You've got to get the acid in. It's quite similar. So if you've got small hands, it might be a little bit of an issue. Otherwise, I think it's pretty cool. Anything that gets kids doing science at home is pretty awesome and so yeah it's pretty fantastic so before I pop the bicarbonate of soda in so the bicarbonate of soda you can pick up from anywhere uh, tartaric acid I'm pretty sure you could probably get uh, from many different places it does have a hazard symbol on it uh, that hazard symbol just means it's an irritant uh, as I've described actually if you get it on your hands uh, so just make sure you wash your hands afterwards so we're gonna pour water in there, make sure we've got much of the tartaric acid uh, dissolved as possible. One scoop of bicarbonate of soda. And try and get this on as quickly as possible. Try not to get hit in the face by the reaction. There it goes. Oh, it's on, it's on camera. Oh my 
god, it's it's like it's actually erupting. All right, so that was pretty cool. Uh, that got pretty high. Uh, what I would say, um, if you want a slightly more realistic uh, version of this experiment, is maybe add a little bit of food coloring, a little bit of red food coloring in there. Uh, it would have been pretty cool. Uh, we don't have any red food coloring, otherwise, uh, I'll show you what that looked like, but maybe that's for another time. Uh, right, so that was the horrible science violent, violent volcano. volcano. Brilliant. I'd thoroughly recommend it. So, Angus, on a scale of zero mad scientists to five mad scientists, how would you rate the violent, violent volcano? Um, I would do it as, um, no, uh, I would do it as a four. A four. Four mad scientists from Angus. So, subscribe to the channel, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully you'll see some more of these pretty cool little mini experiments. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.